Mike, is there the usual crowd of protesters gathered outside the state prison? Unlike previous scheduled executions, there is no crowd of protesters who are protesting capital punishment uh, as they have on previous occasions. Um, I did read something that uh, a spokesperson for Amnesty International that us usually stages these events uh, declined to participate in one here based on the public sentiment in favor of an execution. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. Mike Maycheck reporting live from Stark. Tom? Governor Bob Martinez has made it clear he is determined that Bundy's execution will be carried out as scheduled despite last-minute delaying tactics. The governor said today he expects a last-minute argument that Bundy is mentally incompetent to be executed, and the governor said the state will be ready for it. We, uh, of course, know that uh, uh, Ted Bundy and his attorneys have manipulated the system for a long time, and I mentioned this the other day, and therefore we are moving with anticipation of what might occur. Martinez spoke just a short distance from the Chi Omega sorority house at FSU, the scene of Bundy's first two murders in Florida. From the day in 1974 when Mrs. Kent's daughter Debbie disappeared, the family has left the porch light on. It began, Mrs. Kent said today, as a symbol of hope. Now, she said, that light is a memorial. As we said, Bundy's execution is scheduled to be carried out at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Eyewitness News will have full coverage live from the Florida State Prison tomorrow morning as developments warrant. What's the program between now and 7 a.m.? Uh, the state has in place a, a system of communications where the right parties would be notified in the event of any need. Uh, I will arrive at uh, my office at the state capitol uh, sometime generally between 6.30 and, and 6.45 in the morning uh, where attorneys will already be present and open the lines of communications to the uh, state supreme court, the attorney general's office, and to the prison itself. And, uh, of course, then we'll uh, engage in the necessary conversation to get the order carried out. Have you ever witnessed an execution yourself? No, I have not. Uh, don't you think it might be a good idea for you to do it since you're such a firm proponent of it? Uh, I haven't seen the victim either. And for me to go see the execution of one who has killed someone yet wasn't there to see the brutality uh, that came upon the victim simply means that the killer ought to have some special consideration by the governor's office while the victim perhaps went without that consideration. I'm here to represent the victim uh, as a governor of the state of Florida, and I don't need to see Ted Bundy executed to carry out that uh, responsibility. Mr. Schwartzchild, we have about a minute left. Uh, make your last statement, if you will. Well, the, uh, the entire religious community of this country and the minority community and human rights activists uh, by the millions across this country oppose the death penalty and will mourn not for Ted Bundy, who is not to be mourned for, but will mourn for the state of Florida and for the governor of Florida, who are uh, engaging in a profoundly uncivilized activity, namely the states deciding who lives and who dies, and the state itself engaging in the business of killing human beings. That's a very deplorable proposition. Every civilized country in the world uh, with whom we have any, with whom we share legal and moral and social values, has understood that and has abolished the death penalty. The state of Florida is still in a pre-civilized state of uh, wanting to do to Bundy what all of us utterly condemn Bundy's having done to his victims. Headline News, I'm David Goodnow. Time is running out now for convicted killer Ted Bundy. Monday night, the Supreme Court refused to block Bundy's execution. He's scheduled to, to die Tuesday morning in a Florida electric chair. In the last four days' time, Bundy's confessed to as many as 20 murders, but not the three he's convicted of. Here's more from Charles Jaco. It may have been Ted Bundy's final sunset disappearing behind his death row cell block. Bundy has confessed to around 20 murders in western states in the past few days in interviews with law enforcement officials. I'm satisfied that he's telling the truth. Uh, I couldn't uh, uh, imagine why anybody would sit and talk like this if he didn't do it. And the way he expressed himself in his confessions were really concentrated effort on his part. And you could just tell that it was painful for him to do it. His attorneys also claim Bundy is mentally incompetent and therefore cannot be executed under Florida law. 
A psychiatrist who has previously said she thinks Bundy is insane interviewed him six hours Monday afternoon. But a three psychiatrist panel appointed by inquiry. Florida Governor Bob Martinez would also have to agree before the execution would be canceled. Ted Bundy may finally die Tuesday morning after over 10 years on death row and after being suspected in the deaths and mutilations of at least 36 women. This is Bundy's fourth death warrant. The other three death warrants expired because of Bundy's legal maneuvering. Charles Jaco, CNN, Stark, Florida. The five to four split leaves Bundy at what seems to be the end of 10 years of waiting. Our Suzanne Gatto is standing by live at Stark to tell us more. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Joyce. As you said, we're about a half an hour away from the scheduled execution. We're told last night that Bundy was visited by a psychiatrist. We haven't, haven't yet heard that report of what the psychiatrist is, has basically gotten from him and from the evaluation. We're also told that he was visibly shaken by the Supreme Court decision when he heard that last night of refusal to the appeal. Now, this morning at a press conference, the correction spokesperson told us that he refused, that Bundy refused his last meal. That was of steak and eggs. His leg and his head have already been shaved for the execution. Um, we're also told the 12 witnesses who are going to witness the execution have already been, been brought back to the chamber. They were brought back immediately following the press conference. That includes our own Mike Vasilinda, our correspondent from uh, Tallahassee. We'll be talking with him later on about the execution, If uh, again, the scheduled execution in about a half an hour. And we'll also talk back to you more, Joyce, uh, as soon as we get closer to the time. Back to you.